the vaccine uh, arrives at a, at, a, at a great time. I don't know how many people have told me that uh, with Christmas here, this is a Christmas present, it provides hope, and everybody recognizes the vaccine as uh, a opportunity for a better 2021, so a happy new year. And I saw today, I've been to uh, the Dole VA Hospital, as well as, as visiting here at Wesley, and I've seen the process by which people are receiving the vaccine. We have put uh, the federal government, which means the American taxpayers, Kansas taxpayers, have put significant dollars into warp speed, the process by which the vaccine was developed. Uh, we have uh, worked hard at making sure that the manufacturing is occurring while the test runs, the, tr the trials are occurring, so that we'd be prepared for the day that came just uh, a couple weeks ago when it was announced that Pfizer has a vaccine that uh, is uh, becoming available for Americans to be vaccinated, and then followed by Moderna. And so, so far we've seen the arrival in Kansas of the uh, Pfizer vaccine. Uh, at the Dole VA, it arrived today. Uh, I saw the UPS truck deliver it. I cut open the box and it was a great moment at the Dole VA, and they will begin this afternoon vaccinating their staff and employees and a few veterans as well who are there, particularly in their community living center. Here at Wesley, uh, the process has already begun. As was indicated, they've, uh, they've vaccinated more than a thousand of their staff. Uh, and this trip, this visit also gave me the opportunity to see how that vaccine is working, to see if there was things that needed to be accomplished that uh, logistically, that is where I think we have the, I have the greatest concern is what are the problems that keep the vaccine from being distributed? For example, uh, at the Dole VA, we were, we, it came to our attention that there was no vaccine there, uh, and it turned out they needed to wait because of the temperature requirements for the Moderna vaccine, and that's what's arrived there today. And so good news, a good follow-up. It was the media in Wichita that highlighted for me the absence of that vaccine and put us to work to make sure that Kansans, and particularly veteran Kansans, would not be excluded because of where they live. And that Moderna vaccine is, uh, is arriving, has arrived in Wichita and is to arrive today in Topeka and Leavenworth as well.